Please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. You're late. Staric is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right. He never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. What? Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. The nerve of Evie. Treating me like a child. That's a girl. Taking the invitations with them. Do you know who I am? Not mess with me. So did you think? I think I'll take some part of the life. That's a water gap. That's not to say you won't be a bad man. 
You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. poor from robbing your pocketbooks. I have worked to make peace with our enemies and free British trade to flourish around the world. If the Liberals are elected to government, as Prime Minister, I promise you that in Britain, the individual Mr. Gladstone at your side. I salute you, sir. William Gladstone, at your service. What's happening over there? I'd rather not hurt you. Don't think I won't. <laughs> I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been. But still. <laughs> Let's go. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. is my chance.
late. One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. Now for the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. That's a girl. Easy does it. Moving. That's the way. Slow down now. Doing fine, girl. Whoa! Walk on, girl. Who's a good horse? You are. That's the way.